Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled piece of gear and we're really excited about it um we're gonna forgo uh going over that for right now we're gonna kind of get back to our composition from uh last week and today we're gonna do something a little bit different uh, i've got something pulled up in contact it sounds beautiful And I've got um, a piano idea that I recorded uh, that we're going to take a look at. And throughout uh, the time, we might take a look at some of the uh, plugins that I've got running on it. Or, uh, you know, I may turn them on or off just to, you know, to taste, to, uh, to hear some different kinds of sounds. Um, but for the most part, um, just looking at the Unicorda. Unicorda. And uh, here's some controls here. Uh, you click on the little waveform. You have some kind of main tone controls, harmonics controls, whether or not it should reverse, tonal depth, uh, fabric type, which is really interesting. It's, it's as if they're putting fabric on the... on the piano and right now I have um, you can hear I have a reverb running on there so here's what it sounds like without the reverb I like it with reverb and this particular reverb, I have it pumping uh, with a compressor. Compressor. Uh, so let's go over these. So the waves, uh, H comp, it's a pumping effect. I have a side chain input uh, coming from the kick. Right, chill. And then there goes my piano idea. So I could turn this down. It's good volume, but so that we can kind of talk over it for a second. Um, I have the uh, reverb being pumped uh, with an H comp compressor, and it's a side chain input from the kick. Uh, and uh, then I got a reverb from Sound Toys, a little plate. I use this little plate, this little guy, all the time. And then possibly a decapitator, possibly a one knob, but for right now, good old contact. And uh, I'll fire that, uh, that MIDI progression back up here. You also have some other uh, controls, some overtones, resonance, velocity controls, effects. So you can do an EQ. Say I want to add some bass or tighten it up, you know. I am. I'm going to take some of the bass out. Yeah, I like the way that sounds. A little more presence, a little less bass, a little more air, more 
stereo width. A little more space, not much, because I've already got a reverb on it. It's fine. Compression tape. Gosh dang it, man. Pretty good to me. Oh yeah. Just doesn't sound like it's tucking the volume by all that much. Here we go. That might be a little bit better. Now I can talk over that a little bit better. That's what I gotta do. Increase that ratio, boy. So I'm going to let this one record without any um, audio interference from myself. As we can see, we got some set up here, so we can uh, we got plenty of runway to uh, take a look at this thing. See if we can incognito fix that annoying ass note. Not really, huh? <laughs> well, it's not recording it. Yeah, so maybe it's working. Um, let's see if we can uh, fix it before it records it. Before it records that annoying crap again. Let's just bring it down a touch. Didn't really catch it at the beginning of that, uh, I think it was a four bar, four bar progression. Yeah, the way that reverb tail ends is pretty sweet. I like it. And that's okay. It's added some uh, dead space to all of my MIDI. But who cares? It's adding dead space to all my MIDI right now anyway. So. And I have it on the pure setting. There's some other settings where, you know, some other like felt type settings. I'm just gonna let a few of these record go on radio silent for a minute.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We get to uh, take a look at this lovely guy in future episodes and uh, not knock it up against things. Um, but... Stow it away in a safe place for now. Let's see what the decapitator sounds like. I like it. No, it's still not on. Yeah, it's not on yet. It never turned on yet. Now it's on. Let's see what it sounds like. this midi part start back over right now all right no no decapitator let's hear what it sounds like with it it's a little hot i'll turn the output down a little bit i like it Turn the filter on, see what that sounds like. So we'll let that cycle back over. Well, it sounds cool, it adds a little bit of dirt to it. Adds a little grit. Um, that's something I use frequently in, in mixes or you know, whatever. Decapitator from Sound Toys. It's badass. And then um this little one knob filter guy, it's just simple as fuck. It's easy. So let's hear what it sounds like without. Let's add it in. settings in between six and nine um so let's mess with it here I'm about to be out of runway i think we'll have what we need for today let's tuck it back to five six Tuck it back for the lower notes and then for the higher notes, raise it up. Not too shabby. And then the beat will cut out during this next cycle and we'll get to hear what that sounds like. Just, you know, introducing random changes into into the mix, into the arrangement, you know. I just, I didn't choose that to happen, it just happened. So let's hear it. The 
beat's gone, and so it's just the piano. Got some decapitator from Sound Toys, and one knob filter from Waves. Quite a few things. Quite a few of the things. And overall, this is a cool sounding piano. I dig it. Um, I like, uh, you know, um, ultimately, just the way it sounds, it's different. It's uh, different from all the other, you know, sort of standard piano sounds, which there's nothing wrong with those if you want to go for a standard sound that's cool. But this is different. It's cool. It's new. You know, it's uh, relatively new in the in the complete library. And, um, yeah, what else can I say? Um, I think we have what we need. Uh, we went through what we needed to go through. Once again, diverging a little bit, going over contact. And once again, on that note, until next time.